Well, hey guys, welcome to Bartlow's Barbecue, and today we're cooking up barbecue baked beans, and it's gonna be delicious. We've got a fun secret ingredient that's gonna just make this recipe just stand out, throw in some chopped brisket as well. It's gonna be delicious. Let's get going. All right, friends, let's set up our um, Kamado Joe for uh, low and slow. We're gonna set this temperature up to 250, uh, and we are going to light with some fire starters. I've already filled up the uh, charcoal basket. All right, guys, now it's time to put all the ingredients together. We've got the Joe pretty much ready to go. We've got our um, cast iron Dutch oven right here, pan and pot right there. Excited about that. We uh, are using bush beans that I have already strained so that we, because we're gonna have plenty of liquid from all the other ingredients. We have, uh, I'm gonna list all the uh, exact, exact measurements in the description and on the screen. We've got some chopped onions, we've got some brown sugar, favorite barbecue sauce, some uh, soy sauce, uh, some uh, cayenne pepper. We also have uh, my Meat Church uh, rub, brown sugar, and chopped brisket here also, and that's the barbecue sauce, and then four strips um, of bacon right here. So what we're gonna do is begin to um, put this together. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the pot here. And we're gonna begin to just start stirring all these ingredients uh, all together. Now, some people like to saute the onions um, and also uh, cook the bacon uh, together uh, or separately before they put it in. But because we're gonna be cooking this 90 minutes uncovered um, and then also uh, 90 minutes covered, I think we are gonna be just fine for the way that this is uh, turning out. This is a combination of the mustard and uh, the soy sauce and a few other ingredients that I just put in one here and we're gonna just put that in there. I think most of that got in. Stir it in here. And I'll get you a close up here in a moment of what this looks like on the inside. It is coming together. Put some brown sugar. I'm saving the secret ingredient, that's brown sugar, that we're mixing in here. Man, this is looking delicious, friends. Get that brown sugar all mixed in there nicely. Loving it. Uh, then we've got the barbecue sauce, which we've already done the rub, already in that combination. Just activating all these beans with all these ingredients that really just set it off with the barbecue sauce. Um, it's looking really good the way that this is coming together. And then, my friends, before I put in the brisket and lay the bacon on top, I think the secret ingredient that just sets this off, you nailed it, apple pie filling. Dude, it's just gonna give it a nice, sweet flavor one that you probably wouldn't have expected. So, we are gonna dump that in there, if I can get it in. There it is. There we are. And friends, you can chop it beforehand, but at this point, it's gonna render really nice. Um, and you can even use your little wooden spoon to kind of chop it in there as well. But I think it's gonna add just a beautiful, uh, flavor explosion that's just gonna set this barbecue bean recipe inside uh, just so nice and my friends then we cooked brisket that just turned out amazing if you haven't seen that video definitely check it out I'll put a link in the description um, for that I've got two different ones a Texas style um, one and then also one I just did on the slow roller full packard brisket and it turned out just delicious so this is leftovers that I chopped up, and we are gonna put that in this recipe. 
because we're feeding a family of four. I mean, this is a side dish, but man, you can make this your main meal, my friends. Oh, this is looking good, my friend. All right, guys, I want to share a little hack with you because you know, the clearance with the slow roller on the Classic 1 and 2 raises everything up. Um, you can still fit a 10 inch um, Dutch oven uh, pot here, even with that depth. The only thing you can't fit is um, the top um, lid that comes with it. So what you just do is simply just wrap it in foil if you need to cover it, which is perfect for the first 90 minutes. And then we'll take that off the last 90 minutes as this all cooks and renders together. All right, friends, we finished up the barbecue baked beans and did 90 minutes covered, 90 minutes uncovered. And this was delicious. I'm telling you, it's so good. Get a little piece of that brisket with the beans and all the ingredients and that apple uh, filling. Come on. Mm. This is so good. It's that sweet with just a little bit of heat. And you guys will love this recipe and you try it. Friends, if you like the video, like it, subscribe, turn on notification buttons, check out the channel, all the recipes that we have. Until next time, less hate, more love, good barbecue. We'll see you soon.